Hello everyone. So we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. And in this particular video, we have a two PySpark coding question which was recently asked in interview that actually we are going to solve. So let's start with the first one. The first one is like we have to find out the missing number or order in a given sequence. So they have given a data frame like this. So you can see in a data frame we have one of the column that is a order ID column. And you can see value 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10. And what actually we have to find out? We have to find out the missing number. So generally the order ID, order ID is a primary column, right? So generally the order ID should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? But you can see after 3, 4 is missing, after 5, 6 is missing, after 8, 9 is missing. So we have to find out what are the missing number we have. And our output should be like this 4, 6, 9. This is the missing number, right? That actually we have to find out. So how actually we can solve this? Let's try to do. So what I will do, I will try to generate a number from 1 to 10. I will try to generate all the number from 1 to 10. And based on that, I will try to create a new data frame. And I will try to subtract this data frame so that I will get the missing number. So what I am saying, what I will do, I will try to create a first uh, new, I will try to generate a number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How actually I can generate that? So what I will do, I will write for i in range for i in range 1 to 11 because we have a number till 10 right so what i am writing for i in range 1 to 11 this is a one list i am creating this is one list i am creating and what i will print i will print a i i will print a i now if i will just print this list if i will just print this list let's see what is the output we are getting we are getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have generated right what i will do i will just try to write like this i comma like this and if i'll execute this so we have this uh, a list now what i will do based on this i will try to create a new data frame so what i will give the name df new this is the new data frame i am creating spark dot create data frame spark dot create data frame and I will pass the list which I have created and what is the column we want to give I will give the column name as a order ID this is the column I will give and after that if I will just display df new let's see our a new data frame which we have created so let's see whether our new data frame got created or not so you can see our new data frame got created and here we have a value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so what is our first data frame what is the input they have given they have given a input where we have a value 1 2 3 5 7 8 10 here we have to find out the missing number so what we have done we have created a new data frame and here we have all the value from 1 to 10 now if i'll try to do a subtract so how actually i can do a subtract so i will just write df new so from our new data frame if i'll try to do a subtract subtract Right, and uh, what I am doing from new data frame, I am subtracting the old data frame. If I will do this, and if I will do dot so, what I will get? I will get all the number which is missing. Subtract. It's a subtract. So df new subtract df dot so. If I do, you can see I am getting four, six, and nine. So like this actually we can find out so this is the data frame they have given what actually we have done we have created a we have generated a number from 1 to 10 and based on that we have created a new data frame and after that we are doing a subtracting we are subtracting two data frame and whatever the number which is missing we are getting so like this actually we can solve you can also use a joining you can use a left anti join you can use a joining based on the joining also you can find out but this is one of the way through which actually we can do that now our next question is like we have to pass the json so you can see they have given a one json string so you can see this string also in the form of the json this string also in the form of the json we have to parse it and we have to extract the value so you can see data frame we have a id and we have one of the column json string and you can see this is in the string format this json in the string format and what actually we have to do we have to parse it and we have to extract the value of the product price and the brand so this is the question we have to solve means our output should be like we should have id column 
we should have a product column product column we should have a price column and uh, price column and we should have a brand column brand column means this value we have to extract product price and the brand in the new column we should create and we should extract the value so that is the question how actually we can write a PySpark code for that so what I will do here first I will try to import few library so from PySpark dot SQL dot functions import import star we are importing all the library and after that what I will do df dot select df dot select Let's try to execute this data frame first. This is a new data frame, right? DF. So in this data frame, what I will select? So I want ID column. So I will write ID as it is. And after that, I want to extract the value. So if you want to extract any value from the given string, right? So we have a one get JSON object. Get JSON object function. Get JSON object. I'll use a get JSON object. And here I will pass call this product we have to extract right so I will write product and the value will be and the value will be comma dollar dot product dollar dot product so what actually I am writing get JSON object call this will be a this this column name what is the column name this is a JSON string, right? So here we will pass the JSON string. Here we will pass from this particular column. From this particular column, what actually we want to extract? We want to extract the product values. And uh, dot alias, the column name I will give as a product. Product. Now let's try to execute and let's see whether it's working fine or not. Dot so. So what actually I am doing, I am using a ID column as it is and after that to extract the product right, I am using a get JSON object from this particular column. What I am writing, I want to extract the product. So I am writing dollar dot $product and the alias I am giving as a product and you can see all the product like laptop, phone, tablet actually it extracted. Similarly, for others also we have to do in the same way right. So in this case what I will write comma and I will use I'll just copy this I'll just paste it uh, we want to extract the price also so dollar dot price you can write and the column we will give as a price comma and uh, we will try to extract one more so copy this we want to extract the brand also so dollar dot brand this is the brand and uh, you now if I execute this let's see all the value it is extracting or not so you can see product laptop price is 50,000 brand is Dell similarly phone 30,000 Samsung so it extracted so whenever you had to extract the value from a JSON you can use a get JSON object and from there directly you can extract the uh, values so I hope you got the idea please do practice it's simple question but it's little bit tricky you have to do a practice